when tonight exclusive video from a firefighter's helmet showing the battle against a fire that was set intentionally. The woman who started it will now spend at least five years in prison and neighbors are upset with that sentence. WMUR's Mike Cronin joins us live now with more reaction. Shelly, neighbors aren't pleased with the outcome, but police are. It was a collaborative investigation from local, state, and federal agencies. Exclusive video. This is what Cruz saw last September of a dangerous fire in Franklin. With a camera on his helmet, a firefighter ran to the scene where flames poured out of the home. The woman who pleaded guilty to setting it will spend five to ten years in state prison. Neighbors say it's not enough. This woman had this planned and she deserves more than what she got. You don't give mercy to people that have no mercy or consideration to others. 29-year-old Amber Cowan was sentenced Thursday for one count of felony arson. She admitted setting fire to her former apartment building on School Street. Neighbors rushed to help a family of four get out, including two young children. Fire Chief Kevin LaChapelle says Cowan made threats after she was served an eviction notice. The property owner reports that there were threats made weeks previous to her and her family in the building. Investigators say Cowan asked neighbors for a gas can and money to buy gas. They say she was seen pumping gas into a one gallon can, which was found at the fire scene. Anytime someone sets a fire intentionally, it sets in motion a series of events that seriously jeopardize both the public and all first responders. Prosecutors said Cowan is known to police and has a history of mental health issues. There, there's no excuse for what she did. She was being evicted for actions of her own doing. There was four people that lived downstairs and she could have murdered all of them. They escaped unharmed. Cowan was also ordered to pay $480,000 in restitution. By the way, that family that escaped the fire moved to a different state. Live in the studio, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.